Hello everyone and welcome to the Digital EQ event here at Mercedes-Benz Hertfordshire. Today we're going to take a look at all things electrified from Mercedes-Benz, the different types of technology available in the range and how these all provide an ultra-efficient drive as well as a luxurious driving experience that you expect from any Mercedes-Benz. So, let's answer the question, what is EQ? Well, this is the umbrella for all things electrified in the Mercedes-Benz product family. There are three different types of EQ. There's EQ Boost Mild Hybrid, EQ Power Plug-in Hybrid, and EQ Battery Electric Vehicles like the EQC I've got next to me here. EQ itself stands for Electric Intelligence. So let's kick it off by taking a look at EQ Boost. The clue's in the name with EQ Boost. It provides boosts of power and torque to the engine to help it run more efficiently. EQ Boost engines have what's called an integrated starter generator, which replaces a conventional starter and alternator. This uses a higher voltage system than a regular combustion engine powered car, 48 volts as opposed to 12 volts. This 48 volt system can run components which used to be powered by the engine, like the air conditioning for example. The system isn't designed for any zero emissions driving, it's there purely to help the engine. Taking these bits away from the engine means that more power and more torque can be sent directly to the wheels without having to be shared across other components, thus increasing your fuel efficiency. On six-cylinder petrol models, there's also an electric turbocharger which spins up to provide optimum boost in less than a quarter of a second. EQ Boost is already available right across the Mercedes-Benz passenger car range. You can see which models you can find EQ Boost in on the screen now. EQ Boost models will always have a power and charge display inside the cabin so you can tell when the system is boosting you along or recovering energy when braking or coasting. Another giveaway is when you press the start button, there's no cranking that you would usually hear on a regular engine. It sort of just springs into life. EQ Boost boosts power, boosts torque and boosts efficiency, whilst also decreasing emissions at the tailpipe. If you'd like to find out more or arrange a test drive in one of our EQ Boost powered models, then take a look at the pop-out on the screen now. So here we are with our plug-in hybrid range. These are known as EQ Power within the Mercedes-Benz model lineup. Now let's get a couple of questions out of the way. A lot of people will have heard of self-charging hybrids, and I often do get asked whether our plug-in hybrids also charge themselves. The answer is yes, they do, because every single hybrid charges itself. Doesn't matter whether it's a plug-in like we've got here, the mild hybrids like we've got uh, with EQ Boost uh, just next to us, even a Formula One or an LMP1 car, all hybrids charge themselves. And this is either done via the engine or via regenerative braking. So why would you go for a plug-in hybrid? Well, the battery on a plug-in hybrid is much, much, much bigger. The battery that we've got in the A-Class next to us is a 10.6 kilowatt hour battery and traditional hybrids, let's call them that, tend to have a battery of about one kilowatt hour in capacity. This means that you can do much, much more miles on electric power alone before the engine needs to come in to provide assistance. Now what this means is that plug-in hybrids should actually be able to do most of your journeys just using electric power alone. According to some research done by Mercedes-Benz, over 90% of journeys are less than 31 miles, 95% of journeys are less than 62 miles, and 99% of journeys are less than 248 miles. The models which are available with EQ Power plug-in hybrids are popping up on screen now. There's a mixture of both petrol and diesel plug-in hybrids available. You can also see the zero emissions driving range that these cars are capable of doing. The GLE 350DE EQ Power, which is arriving later on this year, has a zero emissions range of up to 66 miles. If you are able to do most of your journeys just by using electric power, the amount that you spend on fuel will soon plummet. By our calculations, to fully charge an A250e, it will only cost £2.46, less than a meal deal. And that's for 44 miles of electric-only driving range, giving you a cost per mile of just six pence. By comparison, the fuel cost on my very efficient car is 16.6 .6 pence per mile. The numbers do the talking and they add up very quickly. Now, another question that I get asked all the time is, hybrids are supposed to be really expensive, aren't they? Well, again, that's not the case anymore. The A250e is almost identically priced to the A220 diesel, and the GLE 350DE is actually priced lower than a GLE 350D. Charging is easy. You can use one of the 30,000 charging stations around the UK and get one installed at your home if your property is suitable. Cars spend around 80% of their lives sitting around doing nothing, so why not use this time to charge the batteries? Starting your journey with 100% battery charge means the hybrid system can draw electric assistance for longer on your journey, or run only on battery power, and increase your fuel efficiency. Another huge advantage that plug-in cars have over regular combustion-powered cars is the benefit in kind rates. These start from as low as 6%. The zero emissions driving ranges 
combined fuel economy on the WLTP cycle as well as the benefits in kind rate is appearing on screen now. The EQ Power plug-in hybrid range combines the best of both worlds, with zero emissions driving ranges long enough for most people's daily commutes, but the flexibility of the combustion engine and ultra-high fuel efficiency combined. So, that's EQ Boost mild hybrids covered off, EQ Power plug-in hybrids, now it's time for EQ battery electric vehicles. We're going to start by taking a small move away from Mercedes-Benz and taking a look at Smart, with the recently updated for 2020 brand new Smart EQ range. Designed with the city in mind, the Smart is perfect for darting across town. Thanks to the electric motor being mounted in the rear of the car, there's nothing to stop the front wheels from turning, so you've got the same turning circle as a London taxi. This car is ultra manoeuvrable. This is a perfect car to consider if your daily commute is just a short trip from your home to the train station or from the outskirts of town into the centre. The 4.2 that we've got here today is only 2.69 metres long, and less than two meters wide, so there's not many spaces that it can't fit into. The Smart Range has a zero emissions driving range of up to 80 miles, and fully charging the battery on a wall box takes as little as three and a quarter hours. If there's no wall box available, you can fully charge the battery in just eight hours on a three pin plug. Think of it as overnight, just as you would with your mobile phone. The Smart Range is available as the 4.2 Coupe that we've got here, the 4.2 Cabriolet, as well as the four seat 4.4, depending on how many seats you need. But now let's take a look at Mercedes-Benz EQ models and it all starts here with the all-new all-electric EQC. Electric now has a Mercedes. It combines futuristic yet familiar design elements. You can tell straight away that it is a Mercedes-Benz but you know that there's something different. Plus, it's got a full-length LED light bar on the front and on the rear. I'm an absolute sucker for a light bar. The car has twin electric motors hooked up to the 80 kilowatt hour battery. This provides 408 horsepower and a mighty 700 newton meters of torque. Acceleration from zero to 62 miles an hour takes only 5.1 seconds and that's the same as my car and this weighs 1.1 tons more. The interior also has a futuristic design. It's very modern and right up to date. There's room for five adults to enjoy the range of up to 252 miles with you. Under the bonnet of the EQC is one of the car's electric motors. This motor is about the same size as a large pumpkin with only one moving part. The other motor is mounted on the rear axle and they each deliver 204 horsepower and 350 newton meters of torque, each for that combined output of 408 and 700 newton meters. The car then has intelligent formatic all wheel drive. The car can decide which motor it wants to use. It can be two wheel drive, it can be rear wheel drive, it can be four wheel drive as and when you need it, and depending on what the most efficient way of powering the car is. The car's battery can be charged from a wall box in 11 hours and from 10 to 80% on a direct current rapid charger at 110 kilowatts in just 40 minutes. Think of that as another 62 miles every 10 minutes it's on charge, and that's perfect for if you are on a longer journey. On average, an EQC will only need to be charged about once a week if your average weekly mileage is around 200 miles. The EQ models all feature intelligent pre-programmed charge settings, allowing you to plug in the car when you get home but wait until energy prices drop in the night to take advantage of cheaper charging. One of the standout features about the EQC for me is the fact that it drives like a car, actually. Just a very quiet one. You'll soon get over the fact that the car is electric and it feels like a very natural thing to drive. In fact, I think it handles really well because of how low down the battery is mounted inside the car. It corners really flat and with great stability. One major misconception with electric cars is that every mile you drive means it's a mile's worth of energy used. This isn't the case. With the EQC, you can pick and choose from a few different regeneration modes, which will harvest energy and put that back into the battery as you're lifting, coasting, or slowing down. I've done plenty of long drives in this, about 50 miles uh, one of my journeys, and I managed to recover just under 10 miles of energy by driving it smart. Freshly announced is the new EQV, a fully electric premium MPV from Mercedes-Benz, with that famous flexibility and ability to carry up to eight people that we know from the V-Class now intertwined with EQ technology. A range of up to 213 miles and a charging time of 10 hours on a wall box or just 45 minutes on a 110 kilowatt DC rapid charger means the EQV can be topped up in the most convenient manner for you. Production starts in October and deliveries will begin in November. Just like with the EQ Power plug-in hybrid models, driving a fully electric EQ model has much, much lower cost per mile than a regular petrol or diesel car. By our calculations, driving an EQC for 10,000 miles a year would require just over 38 charges. If this is at an average energy price of 16.5p per kilowatt hour, you're looking at £500. Yes, that's £500 
to charge this for an entire year and do 10,000 miles. I spend that in six weeks doing 4,000 miles. And just like on the EQ Power plug-in hybrid models, there's another huge benefits in kind rate saving to take advantage of. The benefits in kind rate for all these fully electric cars is 0%. The driving range, price range and benefits in kind rate for all the fully electric models in the Mercedes-Benz EQ range are appearing on screen now. Now there are more fully electric EQ models from Mercedes-Benz coming. Our ambition is to have 10 fully electric models on the road by 2022. Keep your eye out for things coming soon. To arrange a test drive or inquire on one of our fully electric models, the Smart EQ, EQC or the brand new EQV, then check out the pop-up banner which is appearing above my head. And there we have it, that's the EQ range from Mercedes-Benz with EQ Boost Mild Hybrid, EQ Power Plug-in Hybrid and of course the fully electric EQ models. The future is exciting and the future is electric and there is much more coming soon and very soon AMG are going to be bringing their own plug-in hybrids under the name of EQ Performance, so watch this space. To find out more about these models, reserve a vehicle and arrange a test drive, then get in touch with our sites at Mercedes-Benz Hertfordshire. Smarts are sold from Hertford within our group. On all of our test drive routes, we've come up with specific ones just for EQ models so that you can make the most of the technology that's available. And there we go. This has been the virtual EQ event from Mercedes-Benz Hertfordshire, and we all look forward to seeing you again soon.